What's going on, everybody, ladies and gentlemen? Simply pop, 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 pops back at it again with another jailbreak tweaks of the week. You guys keep on supporting them, I keep on bringing them. I'm actually traveling to LA tomorrow, so I'm making this video before I leave. You know, I don't want to leave you guys hanging. Of course, I'm going to throw the wallpaper link down below. And this week's theme I'm rocking out is Felicity, so I think it matches well with this wallpaper. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's get into the tweak. Now, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm going to show you guys 10 tweaks instead of 20 or even 30. I know I'm getting lower and lower, but trust and believe these tweaks are worth watching. So, yeah. So, 10 tweaks. Let's get right into it. So, this first tweak is called Sonos 12. And this is a classic tweak. Um, it's going to basically change the volume HUD so you guys can see on the top. It's like, uh, you know, it's just hitting on that notch. Works really, really well. And you know the purple, I feel like it matches well with my wallpaper. So, you know, it's a lot of customizations you can do with it. And at this point, it's so many volume HUD tweaks that it's just unbelievable. Um, it's no reason why you shouldn't have at least one volume HUD tweak. Now, of course, you can change the appearances when it's max. And then you have the overlay. You got the color of the, of the overlay there. You can turn that off. So it's a bunch of settings to configure here. And of course, you can change the positioning so you can have it on the center, the right side. You can even have it on the bottom, so you can really go crazy with this tweak. And of course, you have the animations and stuff like that. So it's a lot of tweaks that you can configure. And yeah, I highly recommend this tweak. I still prefer ultrasound just because when the device is locked, you can still see your volume HUD even when the um, the screen is locked. So I really do like that a lot better than all these volume HUD tweaks. And alrighty, next up we have a tweak called Cydia 11 Style 2.0, and it's gonna completely change the way how your Cydia homepage looks. So it's gonna make it look a little bit more modern, matches well in modern time iOS, and yeah, it looks totally better. So you have tweak of the day. I'm not sure if this is gonna be updated frequently. Um, of course, this is where I got um, Felicity from. You have the theme of the day, tweak. You know, all this stuff right here, and I actually changed the icons on the bottom too. So, as you guys can see, it's a little bit more modernized. So, yeah, fresh new look to Cydia, why not? And next up, we have a tweak called 3D More Power. So, 3D More Power is actually going to bring down the power down slider when you 3D touch the low power icon so i'm gonna three press it and now look i have to slide the power off and very very handy if you have another tweak called better shutdown so you have different um slider toggles here i'm surprised i didn't have it installed um so you could slide to respring slide to turn it into safe mode or whatever but this is very very useful instead of going into the settings and then you know looking for the power down or even just holding your button maybe your button is messed up yeah so simple tweak but effective and by the way, I was talking about this tweak right here. I thought it was free, but you have to pay for it. I could have saw it was free. Maybe it was something else, but it's a $2 tweak. I just want to quickly show you guys this is the tweak. Um, so you can, you know, slide to reboot, slide to respring, slide to, you know, into safe mode, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah, I also will add this into the list, even though it's not installed. Next up, we have a tweak called Copy Log. And I gotta say, the developer who made this tweak is so amazing. He's only 14 years old, making tweaks for iOS. That is just dedication right there. When you're young and you're doing something big like that, like making tweaks, I don't know, I, it's just so inspiring. Um, but hey, this is Copy Log, and all it is, it's just a universal um, clipboard for iOS so I could type in something subscribe so I type in subscribe and normally if I want to copy it I can do that but then let's say I delete this and I want to copy something else up um, so subscribe to simply pops and I can also copy that too as well so now I can open up the copy log right just like that so I have some snippets here so you have two simply pops subscribe then I have some repos here that I copied, and I accidentally tapped on it. Um, but I just want to show you guys all the copy history. So this is just all the, the copy clipboards that saved onto my phone. So, you know, at any point, I can go all the way three hours ago. I could go on Twitter. I could tap on that, and then I can paste it in just like that. Um, as you guys can see, I just paste it in. And you can also favorite some um, some of your favorite things that you like to always say. So instead of saying the same thing over and over or going back to that app, you can always have it on your favorite. So it's, this is like a universal endless clipboard on iOS and very, very convenient to have on the iPad too as well. 
And also to make things a lot easier without reaching all the way up to the top of the screen, this tweak right here is called Prediction Shortcut. And all it is is going to bring your essential, essential um, handy stuff that you like to do when you type in right here on the prediction bar here. So I could type in something and I can select all, I can cut it, and then if I want to paste it, just paste it just like that. Very, very convenient without actually reaching all the way to the top of your screen. You could just do it just like that. Um, so very, very handy tweak and I think it works well with copy log. Now this next tweak is called music artwork. And all it is, when you're playing music, all right, so shout out to Nav. When you're playing music, you see the icon, instead of it being the music icon, it's gonna be the album cover. So pretty cool, very, very dynamic. And of course on this pause, you guys can see it's back to the normal icon, but then when you play it, it's gonna go right back into that album artwork. And of course, like I said, it's very, very dynamic. So I'm playing Beast Mode 2, I can change it. I'm playing Starboy, The Weeknd, very, very clean. I think Apple should add something to that on iOS. It makes iOS feel a little bit more alive. You know, something's actually changing as the songs go along. And next up, this tweak right here is nothing new. It's a classic tweak, but I think it works better. Um, this one here is called Circle Settings. It works 10 times better than Circle Icons because actually your avatar or your profile picture is perfectly cut it out. Um, so if you look back at my other tweak of the week videos, you can see Circle Icons. It just doesn't, it doesn't look right when it comes down to the um, profile picture up there. So it looks a lot more neater, a lot more cleaner, but works exactly the same as you expect. Next up, we have a tweet called Tacitus, and it's going to bring the AirPods interface, as you guys can see, if it comes up, yep. So it's going to bring that to regular Bluetooth headphones. So I have some ordinary Bluetooth headphones here. Let me close that. And if I power this on, it's going to come up. So I'm going to power these bad boys on and pay attention to the, pay attention to the iPhone. So it's going to bring up down there, and there's no picture for these headphones, but um, yeah. So you guys can see. It comes up right there, just like the regular AirPods. And just to let you guys know, it is connected too, so it's just not showing it. It just, it's just connected. It's just letting you know that it is connected. Now, before I move on to the next tweak, you guys need to install this tweak, RepoVision. It's going to help you sign your jailbreak utility or any app that you sideload in. Um, so in this case, Uncover. I have 146 days until it expires. Um, so I know a lot of people's utilities are inspiring soon, so this is going to automatically sign that application without you connecting it to the computer and all of that so this is going to actually save you save all the hassle and then you have two-step verification and all of that so this is going to save you a lot of headaches so i just want to let you guys know install that tweak immediately don't you guys ever wish you could play your favorite ios first person shooter games with your controller with this tweak and control you can so i'm playing modern combat 5 on my with my PS4 controller. So this will work for on the PS4, PS3, I just died. And yeah, you know, you just take your controllers that you already have and you pair it up to your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch instead of paying for a separate controller that's compatible with the iOS device, you have your own. All right, so I changed the view so you guys can see it better. This will work perfectly if you have an iPad. Um, but for now, we're just gonna show it. I'm just gonna show you guys on my iPhone and yeah, you know, controls work really well. You can reload by pressing box or square. Change the pistol by triangle. Uh, can you duck? I think you gotta click the stick. Or I don't know. Oh yeah, B. You gotta press B. And yeah, it works. Play your favorite games with your... Oh, I, oh you can't melee. Ah, I'm trash. Alright, let's, let's, let's take it to the settings. Let's take it to the settings. All right, so let's take it to the controls. This is end control and pairing is super duper easy. I'm going to actually remove my device for now or unpair it, I should say, just for now so I can show you guys um, how easy it is to pair. So for the PS4, all you got to do is press and hold the share button and the PS button together until the controllers start flashing. Okay, so you guys see it's flashing and it's going to automatically come up on your iOS device. You tap on it. You tap on the share button there, and then you look on the bottom, you tap on connect device, and it's just literally, well, it's going to connect right now. 
and it's connected just like that and you're ready to go play your favorite iOS games as long as it's compatible with the controller because you know they have a separate iOS controller but just take what you have which is a PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS3 or even even the Nintendo Switch you can even use your Joy-Cons um, but I'm gonna throw a guide down below so you guys can learn more about the pairing process but for now I think this is a great tweak if you play a lot of games on your phone or iPad and yeah I made a video about it um, Fortnite bypass that's the source so if you want to play Fortnite while jailbroken you can and it also works on with the controller um, I, I just couldn't get into a game because I was jailbroken and I don't have this tweak but just to show you guys it does work and last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, this tweak is called Tweak Configure, and this is going to allow you to disable Substrate. Substrate is the brain of the jailbreak, basically. Um, so you could disable Substrate on Snapchat, um, any application you like. So in my case, I'm going to disable it, well, I already did, on the Messages app. So I have Send Delay. Um, also, I can disable Substrate on any application that you like. So I know Snapchat is not really all that friendly when it comes down to the jailbreak, so you might want to disable substrate on that um, and yeah so let me just show you guys an example I'm gonna go on my name so now I don't have send delay so send delay is disabled because substrate is off for the messages app and just to confirm I do have send delay installed um, but it's just disabled just because of tweak configurer oh and even better I can even show you guys on Cydia so I'm gonna disable substrate on Cydia and now I'm not going to see that home screen that I mentioned um, earlier. So it's going to be the classic good old um, home screen of Cydia because I have Substrate disabled. So it's like disabling the tweak on each application that you like. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes this week's Tweaks of the Week. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys did enjoy, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Comment down below. Your feedback is always appreciated, of course. And like I said, I apologize for this list being shorter than normal. I'm definitely going to be back. Maybe, I don't know, maybe next week or the following week. I don't know yet. Um, why not? Let me add in this bonus. This tweak right here is called, oof. That one was called, oof. Um, I don't know. I was about to add it on the list, but I'm, I'm going to add it as a bonus. Safe travels for me. I'm going to L.A. tomorrow night. Peace.